Are you tired of rats in your house? It's a common issue these uninvited guests causing all sorts of mayhem, from chewing on wires to contaminating food, they're more than just a nuisance. They can pose serious health and safety risks, but fear not, we're here with three effective solutions to this pesky problem. We'll be exploring the DIY bottle trap, the bucket and ramp trap, and the rolling log trap, all designed to help you reclaim your space. Let's dive in and start with the first one, the DIY bottle trap. The DIY bottle trap is an easy and cost-effective method to catch rats. It's a simple yet ingenious solution that requires just three things, a plastic bottle, a wooden dowel, and some peanut butter. Start by cutting the top off the plastic bottle. Then, smear some peanut butter inside the bottle. This will serve as an irresistible bait for the rat. Now balance the bottle on the edge of a table, using the wooden dowel as a ramp. As the rat climbs up the ramp, drawn by the scent of the peanut butter, the bottle tips over, trapping the rat inside. It's a trap that's both humane and effective. Now that we have covered the DIY bottle trap, let's move on to the next method, the bucket and ramp trap. The bucket and ramp trap is another simple yet effective solution to catch rats. To set this trap, you'll need a few basic materials, a bucket, a plank of cardboard or wood, and some bait. Peanut butter works great. Start by creating a ramp that leads to the top of the bucket then place your bait at the end of the ramp to entice the rat. Here's where it gets interesting. Attach a spinning rod or a paper roll at the ramp's end right above the bucket. The rat, lured by the bait, will climb the ramp and fall into the bucket. The spinning rod acts as a deterrent, preventing the rat from escaping. With the bucket and ramp trap covered, we now move on to our final method, the rolling log trap. The rolling log trap, while a bit more complex to set up, is highly effective in catching rats. For this, you'll need a rolling log, which could be a pipe or any cylindrical object, a bucket, and some bait. First, position the rolling log across the top of the bucket, making a sort of bridge. Next, attach a string to the log and thread it through the bucket handle. This will keep the log in place while allowing it to roll. Once that's done, it's time to bring in the bait. Place it strategically on the log. Now here's where the magic happens. Enticed by the bait, the rat will climb onto the log, but as it moves closer to the bait, the log rolls. And voila, the rat drops right into the bucket. Now that we've gone through these three methods, you're equipped to tackle your rat problem. Remember, patience is key.